So very recently, Dragon Ball Super outdid the One Piece anime. The Dragon Ball Super anime, that is. Okay, so a lot of Dragon Ball fans have been gloating about this and saying, Well, now you have proved the Dragon Ball better than One Piece. I'm, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. You, because you're clearly talking about One Piece, letting you know what you're talking about when you don't. Alright, let me just explain something. The One Piece anime is terrible. It is objectively bad. Like, this isn't even an opinion. Like, the episodes have, like, constant, like, filler. But not to, like, expand the story. Just to drag it out. The episodes are dragged and terribly placed. It is way too close to the... Being close to the manga is bad. Like, that is objectively, there is literally nothing good that comes out of that. Being close to the manga just ruins the theory. That's objectively bad production. And it's like with movies, how there are things that are objectively bad. Like, like if you look at CGI, it's like staticky. That's objectively bad. It's the same thing. A lot of production issues on the One Piece anime, the animation. I hear it's been better lately, but the point is that the animation... The pacing, it's all objectively terrible. Like, it is. It's really bad looking. And the problem here is that people are comparing One Piece and anime to Dragon Ball. I'm like, dude, Naruto and Bleach are, have better anime. Like, I, I well, okay, I gotta make it clear. When I say better at any point in this video, I'm talking about production of anime. Alright? The production of the anime. Even Naruto, that has a tremendous hundreds of episodes of filler. When it is canon, the episodes are pretty well animated and they're very fast paced. I have gotten bored watching One Piece before. Not really, and I did not get bored when I read those manga chapters, but the episodes are just so badly paced, so dragged out, and just so dull at times because they're just stretching it so much. I just stopped caring halfway through. I'm just like, this is so bad. Like, I, I can't watch it anymore. It's terrible. Naruto, on the other hand, despite all the filler it had, when you watch an episode of Naruto in canon, it is constantly engaging. One thing, one plot point, plot point, plot point. Fight, fight, fight. Action, action, action. Like, character development, character development, character development. There's never, like, a, you don't have, like, 25 second shot of Naruto and Sakura just standing there with Sasuke just glaring at Madara. Like, you don't have shots like that. I know of shots of Lou, of Nami and Chopper just kind of chilling in the background with Luffy just glaring at an opponent and it's just like, like, what is this? Like, in back in Dress Rosa, they literally split an episode in half. They split a manga chapter in half. What? An episode should be like three, four, five. I I know I've, episode should, an episode should be two or three manga chapters. Dude, when dude Naruto with the stock game, the anime was two episodes. Guess how many manga chapters were condensed into those two episodes? Roughly five manga chapters were condensed into like two or three into like four episodes. Five. That would be. Five individual One Piece episodes. But Naruto vs. Sasuke fight was like four or five chapters. Alright, it was like, it was 694, 693. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that chapter. The point is, the fight was, was like, uh, was more chap. There were more chapters to that fight than are in an episode of One Piece in two episodes plus extra content. And what, I mean, it, it just bleached. I mean, do I even need to speak about how great the Bleach anime is? Is there any debate over this? Bleach is the best anime of the big three, in my opinion. Naruto has a couple moments that are better, but let's be honest. Naruto is amazing. I mean, Bleach is amazing. Bleach is great. But One Piece anime is terrible. Okay, I will only be impressed with Super if it beats the, which it beats the One Piece manga, which will never happen. The sales on the One Piece manga are ridiculous. Alright, they are ridiculous. I just don't like that people are making this mix suggestion that One Piece's popularity is from the anime. Yes, the anime is tremendously helpful, 
but I don't know many, if any, One Piece fan that don't read the manga. I actually, I, I, all the only people I know that don't read the manga are the ones that are catching up using the anime. And even then, most of them say they're gonna drop it around Drek Rosa, because it's because that's when it goes to shit. Actually, let's be honest, the one big anime goes to shit after the time skip. Let's be honest. Everything the board had was gold, everything post time skip is trash. In the anime, the animation gets like, the animation gets really stiff and just, it's not, it's completely digital. One Piece needs to be drawn, in my opinion. Well, One Piece and Dragon Ball, Naruto works digitally. Bleach works digitally. Naruto and One Piece, I think Studio Parios needs to be better at digital animation. With, with action anime, Toei just can't do it. Like, they can't. Dragon Ball Super, I never, like, rarely look good unless they give it their all. And One Piece, not like, the same thing. It just, it looks clean, but it never really looks as good as, like, a Naruto or Bleach episode. I think Parios just better digital animation than them. But the point is that don't attribute Dragon Ball Super being the One Piece anime to be anything big. Dragon Ball Super is more pop. Dragon Ball is more worldwide, has more popularity than One Piece. Of course, the anime is going to do better. Because people, more people are going to sit through a badly animated episode. Dragon Ball fans also don't care. Let's be honest. Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball fans will eat piles of dog crap. Like, they will. Like, they have, they have no self respect. And they don't care about having good anime. They don't. They don't want to see good anime. They don't want to see people beep it crap out of each other and big explosions. Of course they're going to watch Dragon Ball Super. But One Piece fans have this amazing manga. Like, no One Piece fan is going to stay, like, decades behind the material when they, when they have this godly manga. Oda is an, Oda is an amazing artist. His art is top of the line. Some of the best I've ever seen. Now, art is, of course, preferable, but, I mean, you can't say art is a bad artist. You may not like his style, but you can't say he's a bad artist. He's, a, he's amazing. Um, he does have some pacing issues. Nothing near the anime, though. Um, his, it is the, everything looks better in the manga. Is the manga more entertaining? Things happen more, but painted better? Now, I, I actually think I'd rather read about a One Piece fight most of the time than I would watch it in the anime. Whenever, the, every once in a while they'll go all out, but in general, it's a really bad anime. And I just don't think it's fair to say Dragon Ball better than One Piece. Because the most, like, I'm a, I love One Piece. My channel love One Piece. I don't watch the, I haven't watched the One Piece anime in months. I haven't watched it in months. I mean, no matter how good it is, I just can't deal with how close it is to the manga. Like, I, I can't. It's too slow paced. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to make this little video, kind of a rant, but I wanted to explain the I'm frustrated. Okay, what I want to say is, don't blame the... Don't say Dragon Ball Super is better than One Piece, because anime sales. If you have other reasons, go ahead, but don't say it's better because Dragon Ball Super made more money. I mean, if you're talking about the animes alone, that isn't saying much because the One Piece anime is terrible. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the videos you did. Subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out.